The show continues. You may know our next guest from the hit shows like True Blood and Desperate Housewives, or from his recent Calvin Klein underwear ad. And now, you guys, he's playing a jock turned U.S. Army sergeant who serves his first tour in Af Afghanistan on ABC's show My Generation. Take a look. I don't know, man. I just started thinking about all those people who lost their lives. The Army wouldn't let us film Raleigh in the country, but we were able to obtain this footage from a Dutch news crew embedded with his unit. Alibaba in the neighborhood. S3 wants us to check out this house, so slow and smooth, smooth as fast. IED! IED! Please welcome more eye candy, Makad Brooks! <laughs> You have, a, you have a party every morning, right? I say it's a party every yeah. morning. What's up, ladies? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> when you were upstairs in your dressing room, did you hear the driving bass of the disco beat? I did. I liked yeah. it. I was uh -huh. like, okay, what, what? Yes. A little Usher, a little Sean Kingston. That's right. Okay. It's the Wendy Show. Yeah. So, you know, again, another hot man. Do you ever get tired of people gushing about your hotness? Uh... <laughs> See, I, I get really shy about that. Um, yeah, I do. Well, don't worry. You're from Austin, Texas, yes? Yes, I am. I'm from Austin, yes. Texas. Yeah. yeah. And, and how old are you, young man? 29. Oh. I'll be 30 next month. So. <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, what, what are you looking forward to about 30? Being a full-fledged ad adult in oh, every way. You know? Yes. I mean, like, you know, like when, you, when you're in your 20s, it's yes. like... Uh, Fist pumping. A, a lot of great ideas, but then you're too busy at the nightclub to make them happen. Of so, course. You know. That's the way I'm to looking, do it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. And um, you look extra juicy in your Calvin Klein underwear ad. <laughs> and, Makad, look, what, what you need to know is that we had to crop it because there was a little more than we needed yeah. to see yeah, going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get comfortable, Wendy. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so how did you get that ad? How did that actually come about? Uh, that ad was, was uh, I, I begged Calvin Klein. And now, I, I, you know what? It was kind of, it's weird, because I, I believe in manifestation. And, and uh, when I saw Mark Wahlberg do his thing like 10 years ago, mm -hmm. I was like, mm. I can do that. Yes. Yeah, there he is. Yes. You know, and, uh, and I was like, you know what? I, I think that I want to do that. So about when I was on True Blood, I, I asked my manager, I said, you know what? Call Calvin Klein because I think I, I think I'm right for it. Yes. And right. about eight months later, they called me back and they go, Yeah, cool. Isn't that terrific? Yes, it was. Yeah, it actually was. So, you know, in, in addition to being, you know, a very a very nice guy and, and oh, all you. kinds of sexy, you're also smarter than most. You've got Ivy League acceptances. You declined <laughs> going to Yale. Yeah, to my to me my, and my... your mother are upset. <laughs> Yeah, she was. <laughs> because you wanted to go to film school. Tell us all about that, though. I did. I wanted to go to film school. I wanted to go to USC film school, which is like the Harvard of uh, uh, film schools. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, for me, that was that was really important. And so I, I ended up passing up a bunch of basketball scholarships and academic scholarships to pay a bunch of money to watch movies. But so, it all worked out. It did. You, it worked out. You have what I call that futuristic vision. You call it that manifestation. Do you have yeah. siblings? I do. I have an older brother. And, is, uh, is he as driven as you? No, but he's getting there. Okay. He's getting there. All right. I got hope for you, man. I love you. I love you guys. <laughs> oh. We'll do it together. We're going to make it happen. Oh. Yeah. And That's my dude. I love him. Your, your big break for us who watched Desperate Housewives was that when you showed up on Wisteria Lane, you were Alfre Woodard's son, and then yeah, you had Alfie, a brother, oh. crazy, locked in the basement. Yeah. I, while I didn't care for that storyline, I didn't mind looking at you. <laughs> well, <laughs> did you learn anything from all our girls on Wisteria Lane, Terry you know, I, and them? I, I did. I did. Alfre was like my surrogate mother in California uh -huh. at the time, and, then, and, and we, we still remain very close, and Terry and I are very close. 
uh, she's a great friend and a, a wonderful human. She's just amazing. Yeah. Is, yeah. Um, one of the great things about your new show, My Generation, is that it's filmed in your hometown of Austin, Texas. How awesome crazy? is that? No, it's, it's You've amazing. come full circle and you're... Do you ever see um, Sandra Bullock or Jesse James <laughs> or Kat Von D's? In Austin? I wish I saw Sandra, but I don't. Okay. Um, I don't see Jesse anywhere. I, I see, I just see my castmates and I... Uh, uh, well, no, because I'm not, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I, no, that's how I get when I want the tea. Oh, gosh, gotcha, gotcha, That gotcha, means, gotcha. you know, okay, juice. Good. Yeah, juice. Juicy. <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, I don't really see, I see my family a lot. I see my castmates. Yes. Um, but it's, it's, it's amazing to be in the place where I grew up. Yes. You know, waking up every day, seeing the same skyline, shooting in places uh, at restaurants I ate when I was 10 years old. <gasps> you know. Do you have your, your mother or grandmother, anybody who's home cooking you go to all the Man, time? Man, all the time, all the time. My, my grandmother actually, okay, say, so when I was 17 years old, I promised my grandmother, there she is. Aww. Oh, you guys are sweet. Um, <laughs> Yeah, she, she deserves an off. Thank you. Um, I was 17. I said, you know, Grandma, if I, get old, if I get big enough to have a premiere in Austin, you'll be my date. And I made her that promise 11, 12 years ago. Oh. And I got to keep that promise. So it was, it was uh, yeah, it was cool. It you, was very cool. I mean, you're just so wonderful. Any girl older or your age would love to be with you. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Yes, I do, actually. Are you yeah. in love with her? I mean, can that, can that be broken up? Is it two weeks old, or are you, are you in it's, love? It's still pretty new. It's, it's still pretty, pretty new. new. But uh, you're feeling her. I feel you're, it, yeah. Because you're about... <laughs> so we say, hey. <laughs> well, look, you're, you're a pleasure to speak with, and I want you to come back when you want. Thank you so no, much. No, I would love to. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for yeah. stopping by today, everybody. This is our new friend, Makad Brooks, and his show, My Generation, airs Thursday nights at 8 on ABC. Tonight. Tonight. We're going to take a quick break. We've got